Now here is the part which really took my mind somewhere else. It really blew my mind. So here I am sitting in the early hours of the morning and I'm just doing a research on poverty and Christianity. How is it possible that a blessed man is found to be poor? So as I'm going through the scriptures, I find myself in the portion in the book of Deuteronomy. And as I am reading, there are two things that I pick. Now I see in Deuteronomy chapter 15, verse 4 and 5. And I want you to listen to what is said in those two different parts. Deuteronomy 15, 4 verse Deuteronomy 15 verse 4 to 5 it speaks something that is so phenomenal but I want you to see something it says however there will be no poor among you since the Lord will surely bless you in the land which the Lord your God is giving you as an inheritance to possess if only you listen obediently to the voice of the Lord your God to observe carefully all these commandments which I am commanding you today so this is something that really got to me and I say as God is speaking he is speaking to the Israelis and he says there will be no poor among you let's look at this let's say god is talking to christians because israel is a shadow of the family of god that is to come which is christians so he is saying to us there will be no poor among you since the lord will surely bless you in the land which the lord your god is taking you to possess as your inheritance so what you need to understand here is in God's mind or in God's plan, he desires that no one that belongs to him should be found poor. But if you look at it attached to this blessing, there is a condition. So in other words, God is already going to bless you just as you and me are blessed when we find ourselves in Christ. There is no one in Christ that is cursed. So as we are blessed, that does not mean that you will not be found poor because you are blessed. Because there is an attachment to this blessing. He is saying that if you do this commandment, so in other words, you can be blessed and yet living in poverty because the blessing is activated by you being obedient to the commandment. So in the New Testament, what is the commandment that we've been given? The Lord is speaking and he says, this is the new commandment that I am giving to you all. That you love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind and with all your soul. And that you love one another. The love one another part he divides it in this manner. He says, do unto others as you would want them to do unto you. So this is a commandment. So what I want you to understand is the fact that you are not experiencing the wealth and the success you are supposed to experience. It does not mean that you are not blessed. But it simply means you are not applying the principle that activates the blessing in your life. And I want you to listen to something else that he mentions in Deuteronomy 15 verse 11 in the same chapter. He says, for the poor will never cease, will never cease to be in the land. Therefore I command you saying, you shall freely open your hand to your brother, to your needy and poor in your land. So in other words, God is not saying that the poor will always be among his children. He's not saying the poor will always be among his people. 
but he is saying the poor will always be in the land how do i know this because already he has told the children of israel that there will be no poor among you so in other words when jesus is talking to the disciples the day when uh, mary magdalene came and poured perfume on the feet of jesus and judas said we should have taken the money and fed the poor and jesus said the poor will always be among you. he was not referring to his children he was not referring to his people because according to the intentions and plan of god he doesn't want to see any of his children being found poor so i want you to understand this principle unless you apply the commandment of the lord in your life you will not have the ability to activate the blessing that you are supposed to activate that is supposed to operate in your life love the lord your god with all your heart with all your mind and with all your soul and everything that is in you and you cannot love god unless you love your brother first so the bible says how shall you love the lord your god whom you cannot see and you don't love your brother whom you can see so in other words you are being given a principle or a commandment because we have to understand that love was not a suggestion it was a commandment that you have to move in love you don't have to feel love you have to show love so whether you're feeling it or you're not feeling it you have to show love whether you feel like giving or you don't feel like giving you have to give why because it's a commandment so when a commandment is given to you and you act accordingly you activate the blessing of the lord in your life that will activate also the ability to possess your inheritance so i, I want you to understand this that there is a blessing operating on your life it has already been placed there but it is waiting to be activated by you putting the commandment in place by following the principles that you have been given by the lord your god and you will begin to see yourself possessing territories that you never thought you would be able to possess you will begin to acquire the things you never thought you would acquire the thing about a commandment is if it's applied by anyone that commandment will release what it's supposed to release that's why you see a lot of wealthy people in the world they are involved in charity they are involved in uh, in a lot of activities that is changing the globe that is why they are beginning to take the crumbs that are falling off from the table of children so what i want you to understand is there is a blessing on your life it's time you begin to activate it by you following the commandment that you have been given by the lord as long as you are selfish and you're living your life just focusing on you and your family you will never become great but when you begin to take care of the poor and the need in the land which god is giving to you so in other words where your inheritance is god places poor people so that you can activate that blessing and possess the land i hope this has blessed you i leave you with this rise up go out there and become legendary now here is the part which really took my mind somewhere else. It really blew my mind. So here I am sitting in the early hours of the morning and I'm just doing a research on poverty and Christianity. How is it possible that a blessed man is found to be poor? So as I'm going...